Accounting frequently has misconceptions about their accounts payable staff, and these misconceptions hurt. Controllers and accountants who cling to these out-of-date theories do so to the detriment of their organization. Today, I'm going to talk about eight of these and explain why they are wrong. Hi, I'm Mary Schaefer, founder of AP Now, the place where you go for all the latest business intelligence if you work in, manage, or have responsibility for the accounts payable function. So let's dive right in. Misconception number one. Even one duplicate payment means that your AP department isn't best practice or up to par. That's dead wrong. It's like saying, I never make a mistake, okay? Even the very, very best accounts payable departments occasionally make duplicate payments. And while you definitely want to investigate any time one of these happens and figure out what happened, what was the loophole that allowed it, and change it so it doesn't happen again, realize that literally every organization does have an occasional duplicate payment, and that doesn't mean that your staff is not up to par. If you have a lot of them, that's a different story. Then you have to look at your procedures to see what needs to be changed so that that doesn't happen. But a few, it happens to everybody. Misconception number two, this is a doozy, is that some accounting professionals believe that suppliers automatically return duplicate payments so they don't really have to do anything to track them down. And alas, this is far from true. In fact, the reverse is true. The number of companies that automatically return a duplicate payment is very, very small, like 1%. Some of them will give you a credit memo and they'll put it on their books and return the money when you take that credit memo, but you have to be able to find it. And that's a whole nother story. Okay. Misconception number three, all your suppliers are honorable and any mistakes that happen like duplicate payments are all the fault of your AP staff. Now, I don't want to burst your bubble, but a few of the suppliers that you are doing business with are actively trying to trick your accounts payable staff into paying them twice. And you might be very surprised at who they are. Now, when you start to suspect that this is the case, you can't go and accuse them because basically it's accusing them of stealing. But what you can do is make sure that you watch their invoices and check them out very, very carefully. This is just one of the many reasons why it's so important that your accounts payable staff has the most current training about best practices and new technology so that they can root out these potential duplicate payments because they're all dealing with the issue of duplicate copies of the same invoice. Okay. And speaking of fraud, I want to talk about misconception number four. Sometimes accounting professionals will think, well, we don't really have to educate our AP staff on the nuances of fraud, just kind of the basics. But unfortunately, in the world we live in today, a preponderance of the new frauds are focused on tricking your AP staff into paying a crook rather than a legitimate vendor. So it is critical that they are kept up to date on new frauds and new protection protocols, because there are new frauds, I don't want to say every day, but there are many of them. And recent statistics from the Association of Financial Professionals showed that 61% of the frauds were focused on the accounts payable staff, and another 14% were focused on treasury personnel which makes sense. I mean, that's where the money is. So current training for your AP staff as soon as it is available. That's why as a best practice, we recommend updating everybody, accounts payable, treasury, everybody in your organization, anytime you encounter a new fraud, which unfortunately is a lot more frequent than it used to be. Okay. Before we get to the misconceptions related to automation and your accounts payable staff, I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button. It's free, completely private, and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, you can hit that bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime we post new content. We post new content related to the accounts payable function two times a week, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time. And on Saturday mornings, now we're posting some stuff about Wordle because, you know, we like to have fun and hopefully you do too. One last piece of information. If you're watching this on YouTube, you don't have to have a YouTube account to subscribe. You can subscribe if you have a Gmail account. Okay. 
Again, technology. Okay, next misconception. If we automate, if we get AP automation or invoice automation, we can get rid of our AP staff. No, don't think that. Automation doesn't mean that you can get rid of your entire staff and maybe just have one person. It helps. It absolutely helps with some of the more manual tasks. And eventually you might be able to transfer some of your staff to work on some more value-added work. But it takes a while, A, for everybody to get up to speed and for your suppliers to start using the solution. Which brings me to misconception number six. We'll just tell our suppliers to submit their invoices through our portal, and then we can get rid of the AP staff. Some and possibly most of your suppliers are going to push back, especially if you've adopted an automation solution that requires them to input their information and update their master vendor file and information and their data and set themselves up and or go to your website or some special location to submit their invoices. So don't think that, you know, automation is the magic key. And two weeks from now, you're going to be able to release your AP staff. We have a separate session, nine reasons why your automation project fails, all related to your vendors. And there's a link to it in the show notes. It's episode 137 of this podcast. Number seven, and I can't tell you how many times I heard this one before the pandemic. People would say, if we don't watch our AP staff all the time, they'll slack off. Nothing will get done. They won't do their work. That's not true. Your AP staff is dedicated and they work hard and they care about your company. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just look at what happened to your company when the pandemic hit. In most cases, the accounts payable staff took the accounts payable function home. They got it up and running. They kept the company running and they certainly weren't slacking off. They were working. So if you are tempted to think that about your staff, just think about what's happened in the last two years. Okay. Misconception number eight, the accounts payable staff are just paper pushes. The amount of information that someone needs to know to work effectively in accounts payable is staggering. Actually, we did a separate webcast on this. We called it, who knew you needed to know so much to work in AP? Again, we've got a link in our show notes and it's episode 115. On YouTube, a link will appear to the left. And as always, I greatly appreciate those thumbs up, those comments, those shares, and those subscribes. Good luck.